Good afternoon. Welcome to Live at Five. Well, it's almost time. Thanksgiving one week from today. Can you believe it? And every year, it's a Live at Five tradition. We get ready for Thanksgiving with one of the people we're most thankful for, Donna Weihoff. She usually comes to the studio to cook her famous turkey and fixings. But today, we are on location at Donna's house. Hi, she... Donna. Happy oh, Thanksgiving. Oh, welcome. Thanksgiving. Welcome. 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 Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. It smells oh, so good in here. It smells it great. Smells Look great. at the turkey. <laughs> 22 know. pounds. 22 pounds. And you have some it's, traditional dishes we're going to share and some, some new things. I do. I have some side dishes. I have a salad. I have a really good dessert. Ooh, Ooh. it's so nummy. Oh, you God, got your, this you got is your so smell great. in here. It is great. All right, we're going to go to the news first. Let's take a look outside. The weather today, not bad considering what it's going to be. No, that's true. Well, now it's time to get to the reason we're here, the meat and potatoes of the thing. That's right, the recipes for all this deliciousness. And Donna is here now to tell us how she made this incredible Thanksgiving spread. And Donna, we are so grateful. Thanks. Oh, Every so year fun. you do this with us, and then you turn around and do it with the morning I show, too. I know, <laughs> and I'm sending a turkey back to the studio, 22 pounds for well, all of you. Well, not all of it, I'll be taking I know, and, and yeah, we got a guest, too, that's going to be coming <laughs> all right, in. so what do we got going? We're, we're going to do the green bean casserole. I'm going to feature this. Um, you know, most of us do that traditional green bean casserole, and I love it, and you can do that if you like. But if you'd like to make it homemade, less wow. calories and without the cans, you can do that. And so what I'm going to do, first of all, it's the onions that are in the can that you mm -hmm. wonder about. So I'm going to do my onions with my onion glasses. On, on, on <laughs> glasses. And you, you cut the onions, you know, very thin like this. And then what you do is you put them in egg white. Hmm. And in the egg white, so there's no fat in this, obviously, swish them around egg white. And then you swish them around in flour and panko breadcrumbs. Panko, these are... Now, panko breadcrumbs are, how are they different than regular they're, they're they're They have, they're more... Um, Coarse. Coarse, you know, they're not so fine. Okay. So they give you more crunch. Oh, good. And this is this is actually it. I baked them earlier this afternoon. Oh, you baked so, them. You so did, you, yeah. you roll them in there. You roll them in there, and then you put them on a baking pan, and you bake them at 425 degrees. Mm. And they are, they're very acceptable, aren't and, they? And healthy. Yeah. Er. So, and there's no, an no, out of there's those. absolutely no fat in there. And then we're going to, excuse me, I forgot to... We made a white sauce, and I made this white sauce, and it has a little bit of nutmeg, and it's just taste it, just taste it. Oh, thank you. Because it's really nummy. It tastes better than that chicken soup. Mm. Oh, that's Isn't delicious. Isn't that oh, nummy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do... It almost tastes like an Alfredo sauce a little bit. And no, it's, 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 very, very it's made with low fat. Everything's low fat. And so you mix the beans. So are they cooked beforehand? The beans are cooked, and so they're like tender crisp. And then you put them in a bowl. Here, I'll get this. Get the panko bread crumbs out of here. Right. So there you put you them in a bowl like this. And there's the homemade version. Put the onions on top. Put the onion top, and that's the homemade version of the onions thing. So you don't bake it again. And do you know what? You can do this ahead. I did this two days ahead, and then I warmed it in the oven before you came. That's what I love about your recipes. Everything. Mm -hmm. You know, today, I was gone all day. <laughs> <laughs> you were being here all day. I played tennis this morning. I went out for lunch, so, and still I have all this dinner. That's amazing. Because I had everything done ahead of time. Oh, that's great. So this is the beans. I'm going to do a your, salad. Your salad is beautiful. Just what is... Yes. This is a, pom a pomegranate seeds. And this is... Where's my pomegranate? Here it is. Yep. And a feta cheese, walnuts, and I have a wonderful cranberry vinaigrette dressing, which I'm going to put on when we sit at the table. Oh, wow. So we're going to sit at the table, and we're going to have this. And the secret for the juiciest turkey, the moistest turkey? Um, I tent it, like, on top, but not real tight. And with I bake foil? it with foil for the first, like, three-fourths of the time. And then at the end, you take the foil off. But that's, that's all you have to do. You do not have to baste it. The basting does nothing. The basting just runs right off. So you just oil it at first, put a little bit of seasoning on top, tint it lightly, bake it at 325. For how long? Well, the 22-pound turkey. <laughs> it's supposed to take four hours, but it took five. So anyway. So, and we have to use a thermometer. You must. And what is the temperature you're looking 180 for? 180 in the thigh and 165 in the breast. Okay. okay well, we're going to test all of this coming <laughs> and up. And make a head mashed potatoes. We still have they're to talk there, about they're there, they're there. They're there. All right, Donna. Can't wait to try it all. You're and all the recipes are online. All of, all of her things in your recipes at channel2000.com. We'll be right back with some eating and a special guest.